Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new product never before seen in the world and a new product to Nexus Motorhome. This is the 2021 Nexus Rebel Model 30R 4x4 Super C on an international chassis. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited we are here in Indiana at the Nexus factory doing the world exclusive, the very first showing of a brand new product, the Nexus Rebel. This looks absolutely incredible and super awesome and I knew we had to hit it when we were up here. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea, you're Will. Yep. Hey hi guys. Will, thanks so much for coming up. Of course. Because Andrea didn't want to come to the factory <laughs> with us. Why don't you tell everybody what we're doing up here? We're touring oh, as many manufacturers as you can fit in a week. Trust well, me, I'm tired. Can you believe how many manufacturers we've seen? I know. And it's so funny because everybody does everything the best way. <laughs> right. Let's begin. Model is the Nexus Rebel 30R. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 30 feet 11 inches. Super C. This is absolutely incredible. It's a Super C diesel. It's built on the CV International chassis. This has a 350 horsepower Cummins engine, an Allison 2000 transmission. It can truly tow 15,000 pounds and it has 700 foot pounds of torque. Let's take a look at what's under the hood. Before we do, I'm sorry, Will. Let's look at this grill. This grill is mean, it's aggressive, it's bad. It's very GMC Denali like, you know what I'm saying? Very nice. We do have it unlocked. Look at the attention to details. I wouldn't call these. Oh. I wouldn't call these pinstripes. What would you call them? Just, oh, just, just detail. Detail. The red paint is mean, bold, and aggressive. And let's take a look at what's going on under the hood here. Check this out, y'all. This is the engine of the CV chassis. Really awesome and nice. Not too Very much. Very easy I can to say. get to everything. Yep. Oil and transmission and everything. Yep. Fluids and everything. And then it does lock in the upright position. So, oh. And this engine is incredibly quiet. So look at that right there. So it's locked. So you want to go like that. And then you push it down. Up there, bunk. Okay, so also, this is VIN number 001. This is also a prototype. It is sold um, and a customer bought it, but there will be changes to future ghosts in the future. One, it does have a seamless, fully molded fiberglass front cap right there. There's absolutely no seams in it. Well, there is a seam right there, but there's no seams in the front cap. Also, in the future, they will have the option to have a front windshield, which I love. Check out these tires. Oh, one more thing. This unit isn't even 100% finished yet. They took it out of the line so we can do these videos. Also, we did a video with Dave Middleton, the owner of Nexus. We'll link that video down below. Also right there, bing. Um, check out these tires. These are the Conti Crosstrek HA3s. The tire size are 225-70R, 19.5. Full body paint standard, Will. And it looks mean and aggressive and it's a rebel. Right here, this is where you fill up your DEF. Okay. Uh, no cameras on the side, but Nexus is working with International. They will have cameras in the side by the time this is mainstream on dealerships lots. And then look at this, four by four on a Super C. This is what everybody has been asking for. You do have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Power awning with LED lights. No slide outs on this side so you get that nice full awning. And then check out that storage underneath. Nice fiberglass slam latch doors. Now check it out. When you go to the uh, Nexus Ghost, that's when you do get the aluminum slam latch doors. But still, I'm a huge fan of this. Right here. You do have a TV on the outside, okay? A little bit more storage right here. See what's going on there. 
Because this is the Nexus motorhome. Look at that big old exhaust too. What's that? Look at that big old exhaust. That's a big old exhaust. And what's funny is it's a quiet motorhome. Mm -hmm. So that's funny, it's big as dolls. Because this is the Nexus motorhome, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is green-based material that will never delaminate on you if there is ever a leak. Also, they use that on the interior walls and exterior walls, so you won't get that formaldehyde smell. Also, they do use a steel cage construction, uh, which is 72% stronger, which means 72% safer. Very cool. Right there, we got a little bit more storage. Right here's your water heater. Look at this. It says Rebel. It is awesome. I love the font. And I love how they continued to paint over the water heater. Oh, Man. That's faster. It is? Just at the top, yeah. Nice. Look at this bumper. That's steel, baby. You cannot use it for your uh, stinky slinky, but I like how it's a nice steel bumper. You can use it as a backup camera, though. Yep. You do. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yep. Got your backup camera right there. 15,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 15,000 pounds. Also, you have a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see this nice fully walkable one piece fiberglass roof. You have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. No solar prep for the roof. Uh, and then right here, you do have a sky dome right there. Good. Good. Cool. Here we go now. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's going to take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Finishing up with the driver's side. Nice full wall slide. Do you have a slide topper? Right there, you do have a 50 amp power cord right there. Okay. With, and uh, an inverter. With your inverter. Yep. Right there, we do have more storage. Oh, that's passed through too. I didn't see that the first time. Oh, very nice. That's why we do the videos. Well, it's why we do the videos. Over here. A little bit more storage. Oh no, that's your wet bay. That looks good. I absolutely love this. Okay, that's where you dump your black and gray tank right there. Low point valves and everything. And then, right here, here's your propane tank. Well, we will have all the tank sizes. Lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Oh, we got one more. Oh, Might as well stay down. generator. 6,000, 6,000 Cummins Onan diesel generator. Well, Will, <clears throat> the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Check it out. Walk all the way up front and then walk to the back and then I'll meet you back up front. Great. And if you guys have it, oh. If you haven't already, oh, come on now. Need some natural light up here. Careful the TV's there. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Oh wait, no, God. wrong scene. <laughs> if you guys could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Nexus Rebel. Let us know three things you don't like. We did have a video of Dave Middleton, the owner, doing like a walkthrough with us. Nexus loves to hear your feedback and they make changes based off of what everybody says. So thank you. And it helps you to promote our videos. So we appreciate that as well. Let's get started. Look at this cockpit area. This is so nice. This is one of the nicest cabs I've ever seen. And well, I'm about to start the engine. 
listen to this. So one, we're in a building. It's going to be louder than outside. You ready for this? Two, you have your window open. Two, I have the window open, and yep. Three, the door where the exhaust is right next to is open as well. So we're trying to make it as loud as possible. You ready? That's it, Will. That That's is all. it. That is the engine. You wanna get in the co-captain seat? Sure. Now everybody look, Will is six foot three, okay? Now this seat is a little difficult to get into, but it's a lot better than what this competition point is. It's look at that. It's not that bad. It's almost like a slide. Yep, slide very right nice. So here's your view when you're driving down the road. Here's your four wheel drive control, your windows control. Let me rev this up to 3000 RPM. Maybe not 3000. <laughs> but yeah that's it no camera installed to this yet uh they, they do have a shortage they're waiting on cameras but again you're gonna have your camera screen right there left blinker right blinker in reverse usb cup holders power driver's seat dang nabbit well was it a power passenger seat oh i don't know nope manual passenger seat power driver's seat <clears throat> okie dokie up front here there is a bunk over the cab. We believe it holds 700 pounds, uh, but it might be 500 pounds. But regardless, both is good weight. You do have your TV over here. It is on a swing arm bracket for the sofa area. Check this out. Theater seats in a class seat almost never happens. You have this, they actually do recline back. It is very nice. Not the best angle at the television, but a pretty darn good one, I'd say so. And then over here, check this out. You have your storage above, right? Very nice, you got your light right here. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. You have your cushioned. This dinette is very comfortable. They, they really designed this to be like a sofa, I call it a sofa dinette. It's not just a piece of foam sitting on wood, okay? And then check this out. They do have storage underneath here, okay? And you can lock it with a key. And it is nice. Is it hidden hinge cabinetry? It sure is. I couldn't see the top of the hinges. Oh, and then over here, you have more cabinetry, okay? And you have nice slow rise shades. Well, Will. It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is $232,084. That is the MSRP. Sale price, don't know, because we don't even have one in stock. Again, this is the prototype, so I don't have a sale price for you guys. But doesn't matter what the sale price is, I know we can get you the best price in America. Will, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below or you can go to General RV's website and uh, check check out and see what they have going on over there. Cool, let's continue the video. Right over here by the stairwell, there is your auto leveling button right there. Can't see it very well, oh. go ahead. Here's your auto leveling. <coughs> right here, Art Deco. Very nice. And now we're in the kitchen. Check this out, nice solid surface countertop, okay? Very nice sink cover. Oh, I think they oh. closed the place down on they us. They just closed the place down on us. And we don't have AC anymore. <laughs> Check out the sink. That's funny. Check out that sink, Will. Sorry. <laughs> you have a nice... Mm. This is so nice right here. You have your uh, traditional your traditional Nexus backsplash. Um, and then right there, it's gold. Oh, they opened back up for business. <laughs> Uh, you got, it's gold and it used to be black. And then right here, I have, I call this your lily pad of power. Power and USB. 
storage above the cabinetry. Okay. Have your microwave right here. Is that a convection oven? No. No, not a convection oven. But you do have a regular oven, three burner cooktop with glass topper, and regular oven right there. And a little bit of storage right down here. I'll do that. Very nice. And then, right here we do have a residential. Oh my God. Oh, well, stand in front of this. It feels so good right now. It does. Doesn't it? Yeah. That is so funny. It's so hot, but that refrigerator's ice cold. Nice. Time for the bathroom. Pretty decent sized shower. Definitely not the best shower. Definitely not the worst. I like the radius door right here. It just gives you a little bit more extra space in the head area. Right here, you have your sink, medicine cabinet, a lower cabinet right there. Okay. Little backsplash. You got a little cabinet right here. And now, it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. Okay. To be or not to be? To poo or not to poo? Well, this is a prime pooping position. Bing. Also, notice how there's no duct work in the floor. It's all coming in through the side. Nice. It's all good. Finishing up with the bedroom area. Look at the nice new well-designed headboard that is centered over the bed. I love that. We do have storage above. Okay, right there and there. And here. Very nice. I love how you have a window right here and it actually does open right there. That's a big deal to me. Do we have storage underneath the bed? No. Not on that side? No. Nope. No storage underneath the bed, but look at this. You have huge storage on this side. You got storage here. Here, not behind the TV. You got a little bit more there. And then look at this. You have six huge drawers, right? Again, Very nice. The ducted. Yep, again with the ducted, and you do have a door to the bedroom here. Well, Will, as nice as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we like about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Will, what should we do first? Um, three things we like about it. Dislike about it. <laughs> oh, great choice, Will. Thank you. Let's do dislikes first. Okay. Okay. I have one outside. I had one inside. Do you have a dislike? Um. Shoot. Oh, I remember. I'll give you my first one. Okay. I, com I have First one. dislike, I do not like the TV placement over the bed, especially with theater seats. I feel like theater seats make you look vertical. Um, and I really would have rather seen the TV more vertical or it is on a swivel pivot, but I wish that it went a little bit farther out to get a good look. It's not the biggest deal in the world, um, but especially with theater seats, I don't want to be looking a little sideways. Can they change that out for? Of course. Yeah. Yep. You, you can change it out for a regular sofa. So that's one, two. Well, do you have one? Yeah, I think um, my only thing is there were a lot of comments about this in our live feed, but um, it'd be nice if they did a little bit of a lighter cabinetry, which they did say is coming. Yep, they did say it's coming. It is going to take a little bit of time yep. uh, because of just the supply shortages yep. with everything in Indiana. But yeah, it's not bad, but it's just, you know, a little more modern would be nice. Yep. Yep. Nope. Absolutely. And if I would add to that, I'm really not a huge fan of that backsplash. Really? The backsplash? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then number three is outside. What was it? Oh, I know. My opinion, anytime you spend over, anytime you spend over, I, and I don't know what this is going to sell for, but when you're spending a lot of money, regardless, I feel like you should have a 50 amp power cord, especially for two reasons. One, because this door right here, it's just going to be harder to it's get the power cord in. Amp power cord. Oh, sorry. 50 amp power cord reel. 
again, I'm spending this type of money. I want to push the button and have my power cord go in for me. I don't want to have to manually put it in. Great, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Well, let's start inside. First thing I love about this motorhome is, I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin. Um, Cause I'm trying to, I'm not trying to compare this to other motorhomes, I'm trying to compare it to other Super C's. So, and I wanna save that for last, even though that's like all my number one, twos and threes. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna say is, I like, this is gonna sound silly, I like the furnace and the air conditioning units, right? Two AC units, really nice in a 30 foot Class C, but it's all, all aluminum duct work, no styrofoam. Um, so there's gonna be that no mold or mildew. Also, no, um, they call them dust collectors in the floor. Uh, I like how all the furnace stuff is pumped in through the side. It's just nice. I know other Super C's on competition chassis will do some of that. So that's one. Two, Will. Mine's outside. Are you saying number three is going to be your the chassis? Don't ruin my number three. But yes. It is, okay. Yeah, so what's yours? So my number two is kind of a combination with the sidewalls, I would say. Um, number one, I really like that they use the Asdale composite. Not just that, Will. On the inside and, and the outside. outside. A lot of does times- Does anybody do that? Anybody nope. else? Nope, yeah, everybody they, does they it sell. on the outside walls, but not the inside walls. Yep, and- um, um, how long has Asdale been around? Like Asdale's been around, yeah. They, 20, they, 30 years, something like that. And uh, been, like 12, but oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was longer than that. But they've never had a case of delamination with there. Yep. So that's really cool. And then along the same lines with the sidewalls, is, I mean, the paint color. It's bold. It's not for everybody. Oh, I, I love it. I love it. It's sharp. It is. Um, but they have other, other options as well if you don't like that red. So, but even just the design, take the, the pattern. Color, the pattern Shink. is Shink. very cool. Look at that, look at the shink. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that. And thanks for not stealing my number three. Number three, well, hang on. I would like that. The molded fiberglass front cap looks great as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But number three, the third and final, is this international CB chassis. 350 horsepower. Oh, snap. No air horn. Totally forgot. And, and I'm going to give you four dislikes. No air horn. But... It's okay, it doesn't matter what international chassis you can get, you can always get an air horn added. But I just love the CV chassis. I love the way it looks. And the engine is still running, it's been running this whole time. And it's quiet, it's not, you know, it's, it's just amazing. And it's crazy because this motorhome can tow 15,000 pounds. Not only that, I heard a rumor, don't know if it's true, fact check me y'all, that international is the number one most serviceable chassis. And so when stuff goes wrong, it's going to be easy across the country to get your chassis worked on. Did you hear what you saying about the three hour rule? Yeah, he said that there was like a three hour rule with International. If there's anything wrong with the chassis that they'll fix you up within three hours because 99% of people who have an International chassis are truckers. So they need to get back on the road. Really awesome, really cool features, a really great motorhome. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you haven't seen the live broadcast with Dave Middleton, the owner, I will have a link right up there, also down in the description below. I want everybody to really check that out. It's a really great video. If you guys have any questions about the new Nexus Rebel, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell. Or you can check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Mass RV review sticker. Ba -ding! Also, there's a contact me page below. Will, do you have anything you want to say to America? Thanks for watching, everybody. We've, we're having a great time here in Indiana, hitting as many factories as we can, bring you as much content as we can. It's been a long week for both of us, but oh, yeah. we're doing it for you guys. And, and again, thanks for always being there and supporting us. Yep, awesome. And I want to thank Nexus and everybody involved for accommodating us. They gave us jackets, but it don't matter. We still give our un unbiased reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.